up you guys what's up my Callaloo box lovers I'm here with a recipe I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna do kind of like a little quick uh, Chinese fried rice Trinidad version and we're just gonna kind of just do it with you know ingredients that we have at home so what I have here is some peppers I have some scallion green onions I also have some carrots I also have some chopped up ginger I also have some celery also have some little cabbage here some little white onion which was only just a small amount I also have some uh, garlic and also a little bit hot pepper here as well so the first things first, I washed my hands because that is always key. I made sure that my counter area was sanitized as well. So what I'm going to do is, unfortunately, I don't know what happened to my teaspoons. So we're going to use this and we're going to just use this little measuring thing here. So what I'm going to do, we're going to use a little bit of the chow mein seasoning that was in this dish's uh, Callaloo's box. And we're just going to take a little bit here. Take that just that amount. I'm gonna take a little bit. See that amount? We're gonna just place that there. And if you don't have this necessarily little item here, a little bowl could work. Whatever you have at home, we're just gonna make this fun. So now we have the fried rice seasoning. Yay! That we're also gonna incorporate here. So let me open this. Give me one second. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing. So, um, me just opening it, I'm just gonna take a little bit of the seasoning here. And I'm gonna place just a little in there as well. I'm gonna place that back. And then we also have the Chinese seasoning here. And I added just a little bit, just like a little bit amount to a little chicken here. I had some rotisserie chicken the other day. So I just kind of cut up a little piece of white meat, added a little bit of the Chinese seasoning, and added a little bit of the actual ginger soy sauce. And just mix that up to give that a nice little flavor. And you can use all other ingredients if you want. I'm just making this a little simple, so whatever you want at home. So we're going to add a little bit of the ginger soy sauce. It's coming out in a little bit, so you just got to, you know, hit the bottle. All right. And you just use your preference based off of um, how much you may want to use. So I'm just using based off of preference. I just wanted a good amount to be able to mixture. So I'm putting a little bit of soy sauce here as well. This is how it looks so far. So we're gonna do, we're gonna mix that up. So what we got here is kind of like a dry little mixture here. So now we're going to continue mixing it up. And then we're going to start cooking. Okay, so now we definitely have our pot here. I'm just putting my hand to see how hot. And you remember this from the other Callaloo box? Yeah, which is the garlic infused coconut oil. I'm gonna just pour a little bit in there. Kinda watch it with my, just, just put a little bit. You see that? Oh, I think I put a little too much. But we're gonna saute some stuff here. So we're just gonna coat the pan, make sure our pan is coated. So what I like to do, I like to start with a little garlic in the pot first. And you see we have that sizzling. So I just add a little bit more garlic. I also have a, a spoon here that I'm gonna just take and just saute that around. starts to smell good already. I mean, I just love garlic. We're going to add a little more. Oh, you see that the garlic is getting brown quickly. Perfect. So what we're going to do, we're going to add a little bit of our seasoning that we made. I like to add that in. Because what I like to do, I like to cook down my seasoning a little bit and then add like all the other sauces. So once it's cooking in the food, it already kind of fully kind of takes the flavor. So I'm going to add one other big spoon of the Chinese sauce. Looks like this. I'm just going to add this in. 
I'm sorry, here's the Chinese sauce, it looks like this. So I'm just gonna add that in. We're cooking down and we start smelling all the nice goodness. So we knock our spoon, get whatever excess stuff from that. So here comes the fun part. Afterwards, we're going to bring in all our vegetables. And there's no need, if you want, you can season it beforehand, but we're not gonna season it because our season's already in the sauce. So we're gonna just kinda like make sure everything is all well coated. We're just stir it around, making sure everything is coated, and as you can see, starting to simmer. So once we feel that everything is well coated, we're just gonna let that sit. So I'm gonna add the chicken while, so you can be able to get nice, and get all the nice flavors. Add the chicken in there as well. All right. So we're adding all of this. Awesome. So I'm gonna do, I also love this other teriyaki sauce in combination with the things that I got from Callaloo Box. And this one I just got from Trader Joe's. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in there just to give my pan some liquid. So you could place a lid on it if you want. Right now I'm just gonna let it simmer real quick. If you wanna add like a little water to it I can a little bit so I'm just gonna add just a little bit because of all the seasonings and stuff making sure that it's not coated. I'm just gonna add just a little bit making sure our stove here is on high heat. Alright so we're gonna let that sit for just about a minute. After we we'll let that sit for a minute I'm just gonna put a lid on there for about two minutes and just a little trick that I want to teach you guys um, I have some fried I have some rice here I have some jasmine rice and um, what I did with the jasmine rice I put it in the fridge after it was cooked so I let it get a little cool and somebody taught me this trick so it was able to so the rice is able to absorb the flavor so I thought this was pretty cool and I've been doing this ever since so we're just gonna let that sit for one more minute and then we're gonna add our rice All right, so we see everything coming into the forefront. I have a measuring cup here, it's about one fourth. So I'm just gonna start adding a little bit at a time, the rice. So I'm gonna add two of this. And I'm gonna stir that in. I know you guys are probably like, your fried rice is so different. But um, honestly, this is how I like to make mine. And this is pretty good. And then I'm also trying to cut different things from my diet too. So I didn't want to make it too, too fried per se. Because I can't have that right now. We're just adding in the rice. So we're going to add more rice. Continue, break up the rice. I will make sure that it's evenly coated. So 
Some people like to put egg in their rice as well, but today, no egg. This is it all stirred up. All right, so I'm gonna turn off my fire here before I overcook my rice. This is it all stirred up here. Make sure it has a nice color. All the veggies all cooked, everything done. All right, so next is to plate it. So you guys, this is it for my video. This is the fried rice here, and as well as the vegetables. It's so good, it's not gonna last. Look, oh my gosh, somebody's trying to eat it right now. Thanks for watching.